Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I'm not able to officially really do too many videos because I'm at my parents and we don't have great, it, it uses too much internet up. But basically first, yes, I have a cast. <laughs> no, it's not broken. Um, Wednesday, I was at gym. Um, and I thought I'd do a 45 class, which is just 45 minutes of different exercises, training, and <clears throat> halfway through the round, we were doing roll-ups, so that's, you're on your back, and you've got to moment, give yourself momentum to stand up, it's really hard to explain, give yourself momentum to stand up, <clears throat> without using your hands and so I did that pretty well and then one of them I came down and I fell the way I fell was I had my hand behind my back like that but as well I had my thumb had come down <clears throat> my other fingers were like that and my wrist was like that under my back and I fell back I dislocated my thumb and I put it back into place with manipulation uh, and then it was still really swollen so I decided to get checked at the hospital if I have um, to make sure I put it in the right place and they came back with an x-ray and said I've actually got two fractures so what happens is on this wrist obviously in here I had a divot and a big divot and then I had one one going that way and one going that way um <clears throat> two little fractures so i've got a week and a half in the cast and it's only been day two i can't drive so i'm bored and because of that my depression is getting a bit over the top so basically I am did update four weeks ago um, but unfortunately um, I was in there not long ago about two weeks ago two and a half weeks I was back in hospital for two weeks. I'm not sure if I explained it. I had a court case for sexual harassment while I was in hospital on a previous account. And um, unfortunately, it just really set me off. Um, ever since then, things have been moving for the good. Um... But I feel like things are out of control. Like, to be honest, I feel like I don't have any say in my life, even though I do. Like, it's stupid. Um, like, and I do rash things. Like, I cut off all my hair. Like, I mean, legit, it's it's gone. It was down a year, and it was beautiful. But I felt like if I got rid of my hair I could be this new person um and things have been going pretty well like I said just obviously I've been pretty busy but now I'm in a car for a week and a half so I can't really drive can't really do much it's driving me insane so I think that's why I'm getting a bit depressed I'm sorry it's so long um but what's really going to happen it, and also because of where I want to go Destiny Haven they couldn't take me because it was November and beginning of November and they were going to split soon for the Christmas break so I wouldn't have learnt much and because I was on a lot of medication so um I've reduced to 300 
I'm not sleeping the greatest on it, to be honest. Um, but I've got about another month to get used to it, and then I've got several people inquiring to basically push me into Destiny Haven. And when I was really sure about it, my parents weren't sure. And now my parents are really sure about it. I'm not sure. And I think, to be honest, the thing that scares me is it's hours away from my family. I'm going to get emotional. It's in the Hunter Valley, so it's from where I am, it's still in New South Wales, but from where I am, it's, you can't just go up for a day's trip or, you know, um, plus they're really strict, so no family visits for at least four or five months. Um, phone calls are really limited, like once a week after the first month, you can talk to your family. Um, you have to do individual therapy, you have to do group therapy, there's options for helping with the chocolate that factory and the stuff they manufacture and the sewing factory and the gardenings and the kitchens and you have to do daily devotions and you're not allowed to swear, which for me is going to be really hard to get used to. Like I'm a Christian but yeah it slips sometimes if you're in there for drugs you can't have a positive result if you're in there for eating disorders you can't purge you can't self-harm and you're not allowed to smoke you're not allowed to drink giving off property on your leave and so i've just tried to start giving up smoking which has been really hard for me i've been smoking since i was 18 i'm 28 now um and just basically giving someone else control of your life. I can't choose to get up, but, like, I'm scared to go and my sleeping tablets don't work because it's a new environment and I'm scared and my body just doesn't respond. And, um, but I've pretty much spoken to everyone and it's my last hope. Um... Yeah, I'm 28, but I haven't got anything to show for it. I haven't got a boyfriend. I haven't, you know, I can't have kids. Long story, just can't have kids. Um, I've suffered mental illnesses. I'm mentally just a lot younger. I'm mentally probably like 18, 19, not 28, you know. Um, sorry, it's so random. I don't even know where it's going or if I'm going to upload this. But I just need to have a real chat. Like, there's a possibility I can go to this place and I'm scared. It's out of my comfort zone. Um, it's like, so I won't just have my family that can be there whenever, I won't have my gym, I won't have my friends, I won't have my bird, you know, like, I have a gorgeous little bird now, he's a harlequin budgie, um, I'll see if I can turn this around without stopping the video, there we go, so, in there, is my little baby boy, Elvis! Elvis! His name's Little Elvis. He's a harlequin budgie because he's white. And then if you can see, it's hard to get shot through the bars. He's got that really bright blue, which is why he's called a harlequin budgie. But he's just absolutely gorgeous and I post on Instagram. And Facebook videos all the time. But anyway, coming back to me and my giant pile of stuffies. <coughs> um, so yeah, lots of things are happening. I'm really not sure what the best direction is. I'm also struggling. 
since I cut my hair, I feel like my face now is just massive. I've put on 61 kilos. I'm trying to lose it, but I just have a food issue. I just love my food and I'm not exactly, I'm not big, big, like I'm an eight, more like a 10 now. But I used to be skinnier and I'm like, oh, I'm devastated. And when I wear gym clothes, like, you can't tell now, but like, seriously, oh, side on is like, hello, I have a baby belly. Yeah, I'm acne, like real life people. I have severe, severe acne. And I have to wear glasses. They really cool glasses though, but you know. Yeah, so life at the moment is all hectic. This is a random vlog, it's really long, so I'm gonna go. Um, but yeah, come in contact with me on Instagram. If you'd love to, it's chickabee, C H I C. A B E E eighty nine, um, or my Facebook. So yeah. Oh, and by the way, if you add me on my Facebook, cause I've been getting a few requests lately, but I'm not sure if it's from YouTube channel guys. Please send me a message saying you're from YouTube and you added me because. If I don't know you and I do see it automatically, I will deny it. So yeah. Anyway, peace.